Hey, welcome to another VideoSchoolOnline.com After Effects tutorial. Today I'm answering a question from KJ who posted on my Adobe After Effects course on Udemy. He asks, I want to make a text slide out or slide up from behind a solid rectangular bar. I'm unable to make a clean sliding action, so can you make a tutorial for this? And this is basically what I'm going to be teaching you, how to make text pop out of a bar smoothly. So it's kind of cool, you can see that it it's not just a even motion, There's got some, it's got some character to it, it's got a little blur, and I'm going to walk you through how to do this. Okay, so first let's just create a new composition. We'll call it that. And then we're going to add a background. So just Command Y to add a shape layer. This is the background. I'm just going to lock it. Then we're going to create a shape layer. Let me see the whole comp. So using the shape tool, I'm just going to create a bar like this. Okay. I'm just going to zoom in so we can see a little bit better. So something like this. And now I'm going to write text. So say, visit videoschoolonline.com. Maybe I'll add a little bit of character to this. So something like that is a little bit more interesting. So how do we make this pop out of this bar in a smooth way? First we have to move the text layer underneath this shape layer. And I'm just going to call this color bar. And then bring up the position function of this layer, the text layer, by pressing P. So now we have position. So I'm going to go to about one second. I'm going to place the text where we want it, so say around there, and hit that position keyframe. Then I'm going to go back about 10 frames and drag the text while holding shift to lock it in this on this Y axis so that it's not going right or left. I just want it to go straight up or straight down. And drag it straight down until it's not on the, uh, until it's not visible anymore. Okay, so if I play this right now, you will see the text kind of come on, but it's not it's not interesting and it doesn't look smooth like this one does. So the first thing that you want to do is add easy ease to these keyframes. So first, you can right click and hit keyframe assistant and then easy ease or just hit F9 on your keyboard. And what this does is it kind of slows down the motion as it reaches that final keyframe and it also slows it down from the initial keyframe as well. So it kind of ramps up and then ramps down. And this is just sort of a more natural motion for text. In nature, you everything has inertia, so things will slow down to a halt unless it's abruptly stopped by something, but that's not natural. So that looks better, but because it's text, it's moving, we want to add a little motion blur to it. So check this motion blur box under this column with the three little circles. Check it on that text layer. And then enable the motion blur up here on top with that same icon. And this now you can see, if I just pause it while it's moving, it gives it a little bit of blur. And again, this is just making it more natural, more pleasing to the human eye. So this is pretty good, but it's still a little bit different than this. As you can see here, this text kind of slows down into that last keyframe a little bit more. So we can adjust that by going to this graph editor. So with both of these keyframes selected, hit the graph editor button right here. This brings up this sort of interesting looking hill, which is representing how fast the motion of the keyframes and the text is. And if you don't see this, click this button down here that said, and then choose edit speed graph. Then click one of these keyframes, one of the boxes down there, and we're going to drag this yellow little button to the left. And what that is doing, it's slowing down the keyframe, the motion, even more as it reaches that final keyframe. And then drag this one on the left a little bit to the left. So it's really going fast at the beginning. You can see that this 
graph goes really fast, 2,000 pixels a second is the terms that it's going by, and then it slows down into that final keyframe. And there you have a little bit of a pop. It just creates a more natural, more interesting, and more smooth, pleasing look to making text pop out of a bar, a shape layer, or anything. And you can do this with text, you can do this with objects, and really using the graph editor will allow you to make motion more interesting and just more customizable. So KJ, I hope this answers your question of how to make text smoothly pop out of a shape layer. And if you have any other questions, please let me know. And if anyone else sees the tutorial, wants more help, has another question about After Effects or video making or anything else, please let me know and I'll make a tutorial just like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video. Hey YouTube, you like that video? Well, please subscribe to the channel for more. Check out our website for articles, webinars, books, and more. And of course, check out our online course library, ranging on topics from video making, motion graphics, photography, starting a business, freelancing, to beer brewing, resume writing, adopting a cat, and much more.